the DC Universe is set to undergo a fresh transformation, with a new Batman stepping into the spotlight. With Ben Affleck's tenure as the caped crusader coming to an end, fans are eagerly speculating about who might fill the iconic role. In this exciting era for DC, there is no shortage of talented actors who could bring their unique flair to the character of Batman. From familiar faces like Taron Egerton and Henry Cavill, to rising stars such as Aaron Taylor Johnson and Richard Madden, the possibilities are diverse and intriguing. Join us as we explore the intriguing prospects for the DCU's Dark Knight and discuss some compelling choices for the next Batman. Taron Egerton Remember when Taron Egerton was a top pick for Spider-Man and Wolverine? Well, imagine him donning the Batman suit in the DC Universe. You know, the Kingsman guy? He's a fantastic actor, whether he's belting out tunes in Rocket Man or starring in Apple TV's Blackbird. Sure, he's another British actor taking up the cape and cowl, but Christian Bale and Robert Pattinson showed us that can be a good thing. Edgerton's got the talent to rock this role. Even though he and Pattinson are both from the same neck of the woods, they bring different vibes to their performances. So don't expect them to be too similar. Edgerton could be just the guy to give fans the true blue comic book Batman they've been waiting for in the new DC Universe. Tom Ellis Let's talk about Tom Ellis, who we all know as the charismatic Lucifer Morningstar. He's been playing that smooth-talking playboy for years, and boy, does he have some serious acting chops. He can make you laugh, keep you on the edge of your seat with intense moments, charm the socks off you, and then hit you right in the feels. How do I look? Pretty good, actually. Yes, I thought as much. Well Without a doubt, his incredible range played a huge role in making Lucifer a cult hit on both Fox and Netflix. Now picture this. Tom Ellis, who stands tall at 6 foot 3 inches and is a cool 44 years old, taking on the role of Batman. He's got the right build for an active Batman, and the idea of him as a Batman with a 10 to 12 year old son just fits. As an added bonus, he's already mentioned that he'd be open to jumping into a comic book movie franchise in the future. How cool would that be? Aaron Taylor Johnson You might not know this, but before Robert Pattinson got the role of Batman, Aaron Taylor Johnson was actually considered as one of the backup choices for Matt Reeves' The Batman. While he missed out on that opportunity, there's a new door that could open for him in the vast DC universe under the direction of James Gunn. What makes Taylor Johnson a solid choice is that he's already shown he's got the physique and the acting skills needed for Batman, thanks to his roles in movies like Bullet Train and The Wall. Plus, he's no stranger to comic book franchises, having rocked Marvel as both Quicksilver and Kraven. And let's not forget that he was the titular kick-ass and even made an appearance in The King's Man. So, this guy knows his way around superhero and action-packed roles. Richard Madden Now let's talk about Richard Madden, who you might remember from his role as Icarus in the MCU's Eternals. Sadly, Icarus met his end, which probably means we won't be seeing Madden return to the Marvel Universe. But guess what? That leaves a window of opportunity for him to make a leap over to DC and possibly become the new Batman. At 36 years old, he might be a tad younger than what some folks expect for the Dark Knight. But hey, if we consider that Bruce Wayne and Talia al Ghul were involved in their 20s, it's not too hard to picture Damien's dad being a bit younger in this DCU. Madden's experience as Rob Stark on Game of Thrones proves he can pull off the role of an altruistic hero with that perfect blend of charm and menace when the situation calls for it. Plus, his Icarus character in Eternals showed us that he can do scary, which is a crucial aspect of Batman's character. So, at this point in his career, Madden could be an excellent fit for a Batman with a bit of an anti-heroic edge, where maybe Damien needs to come to the rescue as much as his father does. Henry Cavill Henry Cavill leaving the role of Superman was a real heartbreaker for many fans. However, there might be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. James Gunn, the mastermind behind the DCEU, has hinted that some actors from the DCEU could make a comeback. And even Jason Momoa, our Aquaman, has dropped some hints that he might reprise his aquatic role and possibly tackle the role of the galactic anti-hero Lobo. Here's an interesting tidbit. Before Henry Cavill donned the Superman suit in Man of Steel, he was actually considered for the role of Batman in Batman Begins. The guy's got some serious range. We've seen him as the gruff Geralt in The Witcher and even took on the role of an iconic detective in Enola Holmes. Imagine if Cavill combined these two aspects of his acting prowess. He could bring us a Batman that's not just interesting, but also memorably unique. 
that's something fans would definitely want to see. Jake Gyllenhaal Now, when it comes to Batman, Jake Gyllenhaal might not be the first name that pops into fans' minds, but he's one heck of a versatile actor with a long and impressive career. He's taken on roles in neo-noir films, gritty crime thrillers, fantastical adventures, and spine-tingling horror movies, and he's even dipped his toes into the world of comic book films, most notably as Mysterio in Spider-Man Far From Home, a role that showcased his incredible talent. Picture this. Jake Gyllenhaal is stepping into Batman's iconic shoes. It might come as a pleasant surprise, much like Robert Pattinson did in The Batman. Gyllenhaal has proven his mettle as an actor, whether he's portraying a creepy character in Nightcrawler or tugging at your heartstrings as a boxer in Southpaw. He could bring something truly unique to the character of the Dark Knight, making it an exciting prospect for fans. Jensen Ackles Let's talk about the multi-talented Jensen Ackles, who's already had a taste of the superhero world. He made his debut by voicing Jason Todd, known as Red Hood, in Batman Under the Red Hood. And if that's not enough, he lent his voice to Batman twice in DC's Tomorrowverse animated movies. But here's the exciting part. Ackles has openly expressed his desire to step into the live-action Batman role. This lines up perfectly with James Gunn's vision to have his DCU actors voice their characters across different media. If that's not enough, Ackles also rocked the superhero look as Soldier Boy on The Boys, and he's even cosplayed as the caped crusader in the past. Imagine if he brought that kind of passion to the big screen. He might just become the definitive Batman fans have been waiting for. Luke Evans Let's give some spotlight to Luke Evans, who's arguably one of the most underrated talents in Hollywood today. It's genuinely surprising that he hasn't yet found his way into either the Marvel or DC Universe. Now, with the DC Universe undergoing a fresh start, it might just be the right opportunity to convince him to step into the superhero genre. Imagine him as a Batman who's rough around the edges and doesn't take any nonsense. That might be the perfect fit for this talented Welshman. Watching Evans evolve from a grittier vigilante into the caring father that Damien desperately needs could be a real treat. When we look into the future and picture him alongside iconic characters like Superman and Booster Gold, it's surprisingly easy to imagine. Evans is such a skilled actor that we're confident he could bring a multitude of dimensions to the DC Universe as its Dark Knight. It's a casting choice that fans would eagerly anticipate. That wraps up our exciting journey through some fantastic Batman casting possibilities in the DC Universe. So tell us, dear viewers, which actor do you think would make the perfect Batman for this new era? Is it Taron Edgerton, Tom Ellis, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Richard Madden, Henry Cavill, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jensen Ackles, or Luke Evans? Or maybe you have your own dream pick. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the discussion going. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating content. Thanks for joining us and we'll catch you in the next one.